I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on sequences and series. Here is a very important test question on geometric series. The question is, an oil well produces 400 barrels in its first day of production. Its production decreases by 0.1% each day. Find how many gallons this well will produce before it runs dry. Assume 42 gallons in one barrel. Now this is a practical application question. I'd like you to pause the video, answer and then look into my suggestions. So as we understand, initially it produces 400 barrels. Now when we say that its production decreases by 0.1% each day, it means what? The next day, it will be 99.9% .9 of 400. So that will be 99.9% of 400. Right? So that 99.9 .9 means it will be 400 times divided by uh, 100 will give us 0 0.999. Correct. Then the next day it is going to be 99.9% of this, right? 1%, 0.1% less. So that will be 400 times 0 0.999 whole square. So as you can see, it is a geometric series, correct? Where the multiplication factor R is 0 0.999 and the initial value A is 400. Is that clear to you? Correct. So that is how you can actually understand the situation and then you can always use the formula to find the answer. Perfect. Now one important thing here is that find how many gallons this will this well will produce before it runs dry. That means what should be the value of N? So we'll take n to be infinitely large, right? So we take n as infinitely large. So that is the uh, thing which you should think about, right? So that is the thought process. Now, once you have everything very clear, now you can use the formula to find sum of geometric series where r is 0 0.999, a is 400, and n is infinitely large, right? So in general, sum for an in uh, for a geometric series is a times 1 minus r to the power of n over 1 minus r right now in this case that n r is very small right r is 0 0.999 and when n is approaching infinity and when r is very very small as compared to 1 in that case, r to the power of n is approaching 0. And therefore, we derive the formula for sum of infinite elements in geometric series as, so this is 0, so a times 1 is a over 1 minus r. So in our case, a, the initial value is 400. And the denominator will be 1 minus, and the factor is 0 0.999, correct? So that means this gives you uh, 400 over, uh, when you take away this, so from here we get 0 0.001. So that means the sum is equal to 400 and thousand four hundred thousand and the units are in barrels now we need to find how many gallons we are also given that there are 42 gallons in one barrel so that is equal to four hundred thousand times 42 so so when you multiply so we have so many zeros, 100 
1, 2, 3, 1000. 4 times 2, 8. And 4 times 4, 16. So all the options are 1.68 something. Only thing we have to decide is the magnitude, right? So it is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Right? So it is equal to 1.68 into 10 to the power of 7 barrels. Gallons. Correct? So we get A as the right option. Is that clear to you? So that is how you should be actually solving this question. Now sometimes you could do a mistake of taking 0.1 as your multiplication factor. We are asking how much is being produced, right? So that much less. So every time you get 0.999 times the original amount remaining in the well each day, right? So that becomes the quantity which will be produced from this well. I hope the concept is absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.